Hello. Welcome to the Methuen Memorial Music Hall, the home of the Great Organ, America's first concert organ. I'm Matthew Bellocchio, one of the Music Hall trustees. We hope that all of you are staying safe and well. This is the 10th program in our 15-week series. It's hard to believe that we are already two-thirds the way through the season. We'd like to thank our sponsors, whose generous support has made this year's recital series possible. This program is sponsored by Neshoba Analytical LLC, which does water testing and analysis. And we invite you, our viewers, to visit our website, mmmh.org, and click on the donate link to help support the music hall. Thank you. We'd also like to thank all of you who've sent us positive feedback about our recitals. A very fine online review of our July 8th recital appeared today on Arts Editor, a Boston-based website which features articles about visual, performing, literary, film, and musical arts. You can read the article on their website, artseditor.com. The review is titled, Enduring Greatness, Experiencing a Summer Program of Organ Recitals Online. Tonight is our Summer Scholarship Fund Organ Recital, when we award our annual music scholarships. The Methuen Memorial Music Hall is a community music center, and we do a lot of things besides organ recitals. The summer recital series on the great organ is our flagship, but we have many other boats in the water. Tonight, you'll hear about our music scholarships and meet this year's recipients during the intermission. Scholarships are an important investment in the future. They give bright and talented young people the means to help realize their potential. By coincidence, tonight's performer, Raymond Hawkins, was the recipient of a four-year full tuition Keenan Music Scholarship at the University of North Carolina School of the Arts, where he studied organ with Dr. Timothy Olson and graduated last year. Raymond is the new music director at St. Michael's Episcopal Church in Marblehead, Massachusetts. We're very pleased to welcome him to Massachusetts and to his first appearance here at the Music Hall. His program tonight is centered around Louis Vierne, the blind French organist and composer whose 150th birthday will be celebrated in October. Raymond will tell us about the pieces and why he chose them. We hope you enjoy tonight's program and stay safe and well.
Good evening. I think we can all agree that the year 2020 has not quite gone as planned. So I would like to suggest that we change the name. Uh, instead of the year of our Lord 2020, I suggest the year of Louis Vierne 2020. Uh, excuse me, the, the year of Louis Vierne 150. He's not quite that old. Um, why Louis Vierne, you might ask? Well, uh, Louis Vierne, as uh, Matthew is mentioning, is uh, or was a great French composer who uh, overcame a lot of adversity over his lifetime. For example, he was nearly uh, completely blind from a very young age, yet managed to work his way up through the organ world and become the organist uh, at Notre Dame in Paris and one of the most famous um, organists and composers of his time. So I think it's appropriate. Um, you know, we, if we need a reset this year, then why don't we start calling it the year of Louis Vierne 150. Now, Louis Vierne has been one of my favorite composers um, for quite some time, but that doesn't mean I don't also appreciate the music of others, um, particularly those who were around him. Uh, so that's what tonight's program will feature. I'll be not only playing Vierne's music, but I'll also be playing music by uh, one of his teachers, one of his students, and even his brother. So, on that note, um, the next piece on the program will be the Andante Sostenuto uh, from uh, the Symphonie Gothique of Charles-Marie Vidor. Um, Vidor was one of his teachers, and uh, this, this is a lovely piece, and as is the case with many musical compositions, uh, there's a dedication associated with this piece, or actually with the symphony as a whole. Um, but the unusual thing about this dedication is that it's not dedicated to a person, rather it's dedicated to a building. Now I can kind of relate to this, uh, seeing as for the last four months I've more or less been in one building and uh, haven't seen very many people, but that wasn't his reason for dedicating it to a building. In fact, the building was uh, quite a special one, the Cathedral of Saint-Ouen in Rouen in France. Um, and so it inspired him to write this piece, and I hope that wherever you are, you will feel the uh, open space and uh, peacefulness that this work elicits. This is the Andante Sostenuto by Vidor.
What you just heard was uh, Louis Vier and Scherzo from Symphony 2, wonderful little playful piece. Next on the program will be something quite different. This will be by Marcel Dupre, a student of Louis Vierne, which I thought would be appropriate to play um, right before uh, some students will receive scholarships. Um, you know, it's an important, important part of our musical world, and I'm celebrating it here with Marcel Dupre's Cortege and Litany. As the title suggests, uh, this, this piece has two main sections. The first, the cortege, is, uh, which cortege in French essentially means procession, um, like you might find at a church service or a, or a funeral. Um, this piece to me seems particularly funeral-like. Um, and so this cortege is a slow, um, a slow theme, solemn and somber. And then once that ends, we start very softly with the litany part of the composition. A litany is essentially a prayer that's repeated over and over again, usually begging for mercy of some kind. Um, and that theme or that short phrase will be repeated over and over again and gradually build up to a grand climax which will combine both the themes of the cortege from the beginning and the litany. So this will be um, Marcel Dupre's Cortege and Litany.
Good evening. I'm Robert White. I'm the chairperson of the Music Hall's Youth and Scholarship Committee. And in that role, tonight I get to perform the happy function of giving away some money to a couple of very fine young musicians. Uh, earlier, you heard mentioned the Music Hall Scholarship Program. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the program because it's something the Music Hall is really proud to do. Uh, every year, the Music Hall awards two scholarships of $1,000 each to graduating high school seniors from Methuen and neighbor, neighboring areas of the Merrimack Valley who are planning to graduate and go on to college to pursue a field of music. This program was started back in 1974. At that time, the Music Hall could only award one scholarship of $200. Well, we're glad to say we have managed to grow our scholarship fund to where we can now award two scholarships of $1,000 each. We'd like to offer even more, but we can only do what our finances allow us. Ordinarily, we have live concerts where the ticket proceeds a couple times a year go to support our scholarship program. Obviously, we're not doing that this summer. Uh, so if any of you watching the show might feel inclined to help out our scholarship program, and make a donation to the Music Hall earmarked for the scholarship fund, I very much assure you it will be gratefully received and put to good use, supporting some fine musicians. And now I'd like to introduce you to a couple of them, starting with Justin. Could you come up and join me, please? And I'd like to introduce you to Justin Livingston. Uh, Justin is from one of the neighboring areas of the Merrimack Valley, Sandown, New Hampshire, and he graduated from Timberlane Regional High School. And I have to say he had a superb academic record with a weighted GPA of over four. I'm old school and still don't understand how your GPA ends up over four, but it did. <laughs> so that's remarkable. Uh, he will embark soon in music studies in Boston. He's planning to attend the Berklee College of Music. And there he'll study drum set performance, music production, and music engineering. Uh, obviously, he's a drum set player and percussionist uh, for a little variety. He also sings, has a fine voice, and plays the trumpet. Uh, in school, he was in a variety of musical activities, marching band, jazz band, rock ensemble, concert band, jazz combo, orchestra, percussion ensemble, and pit orchestra for shows. So he had a busy musical life. Oh, and he also sang in the chorus. Uh, he's played percussion with the New Hampshire Philharmonic and the Merrimack Valley Philharmonic Orchestras. He's been honored in both the New Hampshire All-States and New Hampshire Jazz All-States, winning top score awards in both. And he was accepted for the All-National Honors Ensemble in Modern Band. He also was a drum, champion, drum championship first place winner two years in the New England Music Festival in Boston. So all these fine activities, I always like to add a few words by people who know our recipients much better than I do. So his English teacher said of him, after complimenting him on his academic work, that uh, Justin is a drumming prodigy. And who should know but an English teacher, right? So perhaps prodigy is the wrong word because Justin has worked diligently to master this craft. I am truly envious of Justin's talent and creative output. And the orchestra director had to say, Justin is extremely dedicated and hardworking. Whenever he has a free moment, Justin is at the drum kit practicing. Justin's exemplary practice habits 
are coupled with the blessings of a major musical aptitude. He is deeply committed to becoming the best musician he can be. And I'm sure he's well on that way by going to Berkeley, and we're glad to help him out a little bit as we can with this scholarship award. So congratulations. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. And next, I'd like to ask Matthew to join us. And Matthew is from Methuen, our hometown here, having graduated from Methuen High. And also superb academic accomplishments. It always amazes me how these young folks can do so much in their musical activities with all their practicing and performances and still achieve the fine academic records that they do. But both of our young gentlemen here tonight did exactly that. As it turns out, Matthew also will be attending Berkeley College of Music in Boston, and he'll be also going there as a drum set player. Uh, he, he will be majoring in music performance and film scoring. Uh, so as a drum set and percussionist, he also was engaged in a range of musical activities in school, Again, marching band, symphonic band, jazz band, and a percussion ensemble. And he too was a singer in the school chorus. So we have both drummers and fine voices with us this evening. Uh, he's performed in numerous venues, including the Boston Celebrity Series, Jazz Along the Charles, and the Boston Celebrity Series, Jazz Performance. Uh, he's honored as a drum set player in the Massachusetts Music Educators Association, Northeastern District Youth and Senior Festival Jazz Bands, and also in the MMEA All-State Jazz Band. He's a songwriter too, and he wrote a song called All Right about impacts of the pandemic uh, situation and it was featured on the NBC Boston News and more locally in the Eagle Tribune. So to add to these fine accomplishments, I'd like to let you know that a school counselor said of Matthew, saying of Matt's, Matt's playing in the Boston Celebrity Series Jazz Performance specifically, I had the privilege of watching him play and the energy and passion he brings to drums is intoxicating. Seeing his joy on the stage and the pacing he led for the band, it was evident to me that he has something special and that thing that separates him from the rest of high school musicians. And to this, the band director noted, his natural abilities, intuitiveness, creativity, and drive for excellence place him over the top every time. He is, without a doubt, an excellent performer and an excellent stage presence. His performance skills in the ensemble are some of the best I have ever seen in my career. He is truly a dedicated and motivated individual. So it's with great pleasure that we present our second scholarship to Matthew Ricchetti. Thank you and good luck in college. Thank you. So the next two pieces on the program will be in a rather lighthearted vein. Uh, the first will be the Allegretto by Louis Vierne, Opus 1, so Opus 1, uh, indicating that it was a very early work. In fact, he wrote it when he was about my age. Um, and then the piece that follows will be uh, René Vierne, his brother, um, wrote a piece called Intermezzo, um, which is a short, delightful, scherzo-like piece, very similar to the scherzo you heard earlier from Louis Vierne's Symphony No. 2. So first, Louis Vierne, 
Allegretto.
The next piece on the program is entitled Stelle pour un enfant défunt, which means uh, tombstone for a dead child, uh, which is not the reason I chose this piece. Um, it has a rather uh, historical significance in Louis Vierne's life. On June 2nd, 1937, Louis Vierne played a concert. Um, and this piece was on the program. He had played, uh, played a number of pieces. He got to this one. He played it, finished it, and then died suddenly at the organ bench in the Cathedral of Notre Dame. So, um, you can imagine, I, uh, as you might imagine, I'm a little nervous uh, you know, playing this piece as to what might happen to me, um, but I'm not, I'm not superstitious, so I think we'll be fine. Um, it's a lovely piece, though, and aside from its historical significance, uh, I want you to hear it tonight. This is Stelle pour un enfant défunt from Triptych.
Before I tell you a little bit about the last piece on the program, I first want to thank everyone here at Methuen Memorial Music Hall for inviting me this evening. It's been a real great pleasure to get to know this wonderful instrument here. And also I'd like to thank my roommate, uh, Thomas, who volunteered to turn my pages. Actually, I, I told him to do it. But um, anyway, thank you. The last piece on the program is uh, a, real, a real party. Um, and when I say party, I don't mean a sophisticated wine and cheese party. It's more like a, an unhinged, raucous, licentious party. Um, just way out there. And, um, you know, in a way, it's kind of like all the college parties that I was never invited to. Um, but it's a fun piece, and I feel like in a time when we can't necessarily celebrate and uh, socialize together, that a fun piece like this would be a great way to end the program. So this is the last movement, the finale, from Louis Vierne's Sixth Symphony.
What a great performance on the great organ this evening. We thank Raymond for bringing his talents to share with us all. Hi, my name is Chad Dow, and I'm the current president of the Board of Trustees here at the Methuen Memorial Music Hall. For over 110 years, this building has been home to the great organ and a venue for diverse, beautiful performances, just like the one you saw tonight. If this is your first time with us, a very warm welcome to you. And if for those of you who have joined us in the past, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the performance just as much as we did. We're so excited to be able to present our scheduled season via live stream and hope you join us for as many performances as you can. And please, do be sure to tell a friend about us so they can enjoy the upcoming performances too. The Methuen Memorial Music Hall is grateful for all of our generous donors who have helped us during this challenging time. If you'd like to consider a donation, please visit our website at www.mmmh.org and look for the donate link. Thank you so much for your continued support and generosity. Stay safe, be well, and we hope to see you next time.